I'm Leslie Sipes. I would like to explore with you today Exodus 4, 10 through 14. When I was asked to do another devotional for the St. Mark's um, online devotionals that we're doing, I easily said, um, no, don't wait on me. I've, I had already done one and I thought, done my part, that's good. And then the next couple days, I opened up the upper rim for my devotional and it was from Exodus 4. And the scripture, the CEB version says, please Lord, just send somebody else. Hmm. And then another day or so, I opened my Bible for devotion and out comes this paper that I had written way back for um, a booklet that St. Mark's did. So I'd like to share that with you today. So Exodus 4, 10 says, But Moses said, O Lord, I have never been eloquent, neither in the past nor since you have spoken to your servant. I am slow of speech and tongue. Exodus 4, 10. I often put myself in a mold that God has not made. Do you? Verse 11 and 12 says, The Lord said to him, Who gave man his mouth? Who makes him deaf or mute? Who gives him sight or makes him blind? Is it not I, the Lord? Now go, I will help you speak and will teach you what to say. Exodus 4, 11 and 12. The Lord created me and he created you. He knows exactly the mold he has made specifically for each one of us. He knows our gifts, he knows our weaknesses, he knows our thoughts and our fears. God knows the call he has placed on my life and the call he's placed on yours and the direction he wants each one of us to follow. He's ready to hold our hand. All we have to do is take it so he can follow us there. Verse 13 says, but Moses said, oh Lord, please send someone else to do it. And I really do like that version in the CEB that says, just send somebody else. So that's verse 13, and my response is, Lord, what if I mess up? What if people laugh at me? What if I'm judged? Please, don't make me step out of my comfort zone. I know another person who could do a much better job than me. And then verse 14 says, then the Lord's anger burned against Moses. So God adjusted his plan. He used Aaron, but he still spoke through Moses. And he gave Moses the staff. It was Moses all along that he wanted to do this, um, bringing his people out of Egypt. So God's probably asking me to do more than just this devotion. Maybe there's something else. What's he asking you to do? Is he asking you to serve in a ministry at St. Mark's? Is he asking you to take a new job? Is he asking you to um, work in a community volunteer service? Maybe it's um, a long overdue apology that needs to be made. Maybe it's within your own heart, some forgiveness that needs to take place. God will take your hand and he will lead you there. So, my prayer today is, oh Lord, I'm still afraid. I still don't want to be judged, but help me take your hand. Help me to trust you. Use me for your purpose and glory. Amen.